of the boss woman and summarizing our strength, our success and planning actions to improve for the next month to come. This is the time of the year where we need a pat on the shoulder to tell us we've done well indeed or we have the courage to do even better. This is the time of the year Trinity Bean comes in the picture again and truly recognizes the effort of all of us present here today through this award night. It's the time of the day where many will hold a precious memento and be proud of what they achieved and be even more motivated to do better next year. With the pandemic hitting us like never before and unfolding worldwide, it has been particularly a very difficult year in every aspect. With so many challenges to overcome, we were unsure as to whether we could go to the event. But you probably know how stubborn Dr. Harish is. He will do he will do it no matter what. Thus, we are here today, ready to rock the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, today's evening belongs to us. Let's focus on the present moment and make the most of it. Before we proceed, um, it's time to hear from the man himself now. To be able to stand up and influence the lives of people in his own way, Stepan Deliant. He is truly an inspiration to so many people. Sharing this with you all, last month he was nominated Africa's Top 10 Women Empowerment Influences by News Africa. I'm sure you must have already guessed to whom I'm referring. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to welcome our one and only Dr. Harish Bieber, CEO of Trade Again. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know what to say. I haven't even had the time to prepare a speech. But this year, this year has been dominated by, by one, by something, an event, a pandemic that almost put us into chaos. Us, uh, I mainly refer to entrepreneurs, self-employed people, directors of companies, it has been a very, very tough year for all of us. I have to say that um, during uh, when uh, we heard about the lockdown, I was probably depressed, thinking that um, how I am going to pay my loans, what about the kids' education? Lots of bad things happen, you know, but also bad things in the brain that mess up your, your line of thinking, your reaction. And basically, you're out there, you're not even out there, you're in there, in your house, listening to the news, how many people are getting affected, and you can't do anything about it. However, I have to say that everything that happens in life has a very specific reason. Until you don't know what is that reason, you will not be able to move forward. I have to say that when we were hit by a pandemic, when I, I thought that my company would close down, I'm honestly telling you, probably two weeks, three weeks after Train Begin have been doing the best business ever since we set up the company. Now, why? How did it happen? It just didn't happen like this. I sit in my room and things happen. I think what we did is we brought our ideas together, bringing innovations, innovations, try to find out what was the demand and we supplied accordingly. And I have to say that despite the pandemic, we have been doing lots of lots of good things. 
And this is me. I'm sure most of you have been in the same. That's why you are here. Because when I read the resume of your achievement, that shows that we have not been sitting at home waiting for bankruptcy to come to us. We have been fighting, fighting to come out of this crisis. Everyone has contributed to make this country uh, COVID free. And everyone is still contributing to make the economy of this country getting better and better. It has been impact here, I have to say, I have lost a member of the family in my office, which was very, very hard, but uh, we still call the replacement as Raji, I'm telling you, it's so hard. But we move on in life. And uh, today, to, to, there was a feel-good factor that was missing, I like what Shari was saying, I was not very sure whether I would be able to host this event, taking into account what was happening, it was a very difficult situation, for many of us. But then I forgot that five years ago we started a project. We started with the Ministry of Mrs. Oval with her advisors sitting around a cup of coffee. What can we do for women empowerment? And that's when we we introduced the concept of 100 most influential women. We made 100 women happy and many thousands very, very unhappy. Yet, those who couldn't make it, made it. And I'm very proud, looking back, for what we have achieved for, for this project. I can see faces I have met, so many years I have met these faces that are here today to actually be nominated or awarded uh, for the contribution to a specific field. And uh, when we started that project five years ago, we had our chief guests there to bless us. Mr. Baron Bayakuri, who came at the chief guest and awarded hundreds of women, no men at the time, we hated men. Hundred women, we gave them the book, the flower. The project went bigger and bigger despite obstacles, despite bad mouthing, despite enemies, despite copycats. We've been going stronger and stronger and stronger. And I think today is a, an even bigger event that we are hosting. But I'm even happier that we have now included Man of the Year uh, in, uh, in uh, I mean, this is the second edition we are running this. And uh, we are encouraging men to come forward because men are, they don't really care, I'll be honest with you, they don't really get to sit down, have a, a beer, a lady, you just carry forward. No, but men also, I can see, are doing very, very well. I mean, during the pandemic, I've, I've been uh, really impressed by how so many people are working hard to keep other people's brains active. How many people are doing, like for example, uh, physical exercises at home and putting the camera is on Zoom and you know, encouraging other people to get involved in activity. So many good things have happened and I will keep encouraging men to join the wagon, be part of our audience, because see, it's very important that at some point in time that you get a pat in the back to say, well done, you have been really excellent. And today, by taking this moment to home, by looking at yourself in the mirror, you will find a better version of yourself. And that doesn't stop here. You have to keep working hard, keep doing better, keep getting better and better and better so that one day you can achieve things that you'll be proud of, not even imagining what you could have done. And I have to say that among you, there is around probably 15 uh, women who have been achieving great heights 50 to 90 great heights over the past five years. Every time I open the newspaper, I'm so proud to see some of the names there. The happiness that I get to actually see you achieving 
very well in your career is indescribable because that shows that I am doing a good job, my team is doing a good job. So with these words, I have to give back the mic because otherwise I will keep on going. I can only wish you all the best. I can only wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I can wish you, I can only wish you more and more and more success to come in the future. Thank you. You are the forces of good. Earlier, we had a minute of silence to three of our countrymen who lost their lives from the hands of big naive of evil. Who've, who've been let themselves be guided by evil tendencies, drugs, and all these scourges of our society. Let me congratulate Dr. Vimal and Drink Again for recognizing success, for celebrating success of young people like you. But of course we do understand that it's not the end. It's only an encouragement for you to carry on, to go for training, to go for empowerment, and to do better. Um, so you are the, those people who are the producers, who are contributing, who are giving of, of yourselves. And the country is proud of you and is grateful to you. It's important for every one of you to discover your talents, your strengths, your potential, and work towards improving them in order to do better. You must also try to know your weaknesses and work on them to improve yourself, to make yourself a better person, a more productive person, a more attractive person. So, I will end by saying again that I'm so happy to be in your company, in the company of successful people. And congratulations to Train to Gain to call you here together in order to recognize your contribution and to tell you the future is yours. So enjoy the night and let me on behalf of Sarojini and myself wish all of you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.